Right now, the state of Arizona is planning a big COVID-19 testing blitz. The goal is to get about 30 to 60,000 people tested over three weekends starting May the 2nd, which is this weekend. Those tests will be free and available at a number of places across the state. If you would like to know more information about this, you can head to 12news.com and you can also head to the 12 News app. Well, new numbers show just how difficult it has been to secure protective equipment for our first responders and healthcare workers battling the coronavirus. To date, the city of Phoenix has received just 6% of equipment and supplies that have already been ordered. Team 12's Joe Dana explains why it's so important to get those orders filled soon. Look, with the state calling for increased testing, and with elective surgery starting next month, it'll be crucial for health care workers and first responders to have the reserves they need. Where to donate? A rare call for donations from the director of Maricopa County Emergency Services. Acknowledging late last week, the county is struggling to obtain masks and gloves for health care workers and others. But we, like many others, are waiting for delivery. The city of Phoenix also victim to a broken supply chain. To date, the city has placed more than $13 million in orders for COVID-19 supplies, but has only received 6%. The breakdown includes $3.5 million worth of disinfectants and cleaning supplies, just 9% received, $1.8 million worth of gloves, less than 1% received. Perhaps most concerning of all, the city has ordered $6.8 million worth of N95 masks and received nothing, 0%. At times, orders have been taken back. In one failed shipment, the company Dunn Edwards, known for its painting supplies, was supposed to send a shipment of N95 masks to the city. A spokesperson for Dunn Edwards tells 12 News the masks were instead rerouted to medical facilities, which have become a priority over fire departments. The city tells 12 News it has managed to keep at least a two-week reserve of masks on hand, thanks in part to donations. And we've put information on how to donate to the city and county on our website at 12news.com.